I, I want to, like, you're the state minister for business development as well, which means you have to, uh, to think, you know, once we get out of this, uh, you know, let's get uh, all everybody vaccinated. What's the uh, the way forward? Uh, how are you? Because when the Saubagi Dakma was written uh, and, and envisaged prior to the uh, presidential election, we did not talk about COVID. COVID was not even uh, in sight. Now, that and how can you fine-tune it to what's happening right now and making sure the future is exactly what you promised the people back in 2019 prior to COVID? Uh, Anish, we have a, uh, we have a, a plan in the system. Now, if you take, uh, yes, I would always say this is one of the most challenging periods. This is a more challenging period than the war time. So we have to overcome this. That is why we have taken these steps. Yes, we have restricted travel. We have started vaccinations. We have uh, improved on our health uh, facilities. We have got the hospitals equipped for COVID. We have got the intermediary centers taking place, different other measures to overcome COVID. Then when it comes to the economy, that is one of the key issues that the government has to face. That is one reason why we did not go into a total lockdown. What will people gain by going into a total lockdown? The, 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 always the specialist instructions were either to close the borders of the, of the provinces or to go into a partial lockdown like what we have mm. uh, uh, with the travel restrictions. So we have always followed that step. Then the other uh, important thing what I want to tell is, even today we are having a meeting on that. We were planning to uh, groom up, groom uh, 150,000 entrepreneurs. That is, is prior to COVID? Prior to COVID, yes. That is not only to give an amount of money to an identified entrepreneur, and uh, asking him to come up in life. Here we have got uh, many ministries together. Like it'll, it'll be an integrated uh, plan which will exist now, from now onwards. So that different ministries will identify their core areas. What are the areas they can invest on? Who are the entrepreneurs you can identify? How you can help? One, with, uh, tra uh, with training, with, uh, IT, with IT knowledge and taking them forward. It is not helping you once mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just uh, <coughs> going away. So we will have uh, 150,000 entrepreneurs. So our target is, with, despite having COVID, to go up to 100,000 to make sure that we will have, it is not only limited to the youth, but you will have entrepreneurs who will come up and survive under these uh, situations with under pressure. So this we are starting and we are very confident that we can uh, deliver this. Uh, even, uh, even now we have uh, catered to over 40,000 uh, entrepreneurs. It depends, the scale differs. Yeah. I mean, the scale differs. It could be uh, somebody who is in a village to somebody who is uh, delivering, mm. uh, ma making a delivery in Colombo. So the scale differs, but we want to have this uh, mentality ro rolling over and ensure that they make a contribution to the economy.